Hello everyone. Today's video is going to mark the start of a four-part series called Battle of the Bars. In this series, I'm going to have the four different elemental damage dealing barbarian builds that I made. That took so many takes to be able to say right. Being the Shaman Barb, the Winter Soldier, Shazam, and the Barbaric Build. Each go through the Ubers to see how well they do. And in the end, compare the results. When it comes to the changes made from the build guides to what you'll see in this video, the only changes are that all the builds will be getting the same pre-buffing to keep the opportunity for each build equal going through the Ubers to be able to get a torch, as well as using duress body armor and Gore Rider boots, despite the some were already using said boots in their initial build guides. But this way, it's fair to compare each build from their initial build guides that I made, as they would all have a good base amount of crushing blow and open wounds on top of their elemental damage. I will not be going over the details of the builds in this video, so if you're interested in checking out the builds for yourself, Make sure to check out the build guides for all the information that you'll want to know. Link down in the description below. Every build will additionally be kept exactly as it was set as far as the means of attack. So those who more whirlwind builds will stay as such, as do those who use frenzy. Keep in mind that these builds are not utilized for doing uber runs aside from the crushing blow, open wounds, and deadly strike that they would have to make it easier to whittle down the uber's health aside from utilizing their elemental damage to the fullest. With the other three elemental damage builds now having their uber runs completed, being the poison damage, cold damage, and lightning damage builds, it's time for the last build guide that I made, being the barbaric fire build. Make sure to check out the first three runs from the Shaman Barbarian, the Winter Soldier Barbarian, and the Shazam Barbarian if you haven't done so to get caught up in the series thus far. Visually, this is one of my more favorite builds of the four in the series, but looks alone won't translate to good results if he cannot get through the Ubers. He will not be using Drax Gloves for the Lifetap proc like the last build had, because he will have a Redemption Aura on his weapons to be able to help get some health and mana back from anything that he kills aside from the Ubers, but is opting for Blood Gloves to be able to get some additional IAS and Crushing Blow, this way, there's better chances to start knocking down the health of all the ubers much easier and faster to try to offset the lower damage output. Just like with the lightning build, he'll be using the skill Frenzy to deal damage, aiding in increasing both his movement speed and attack speed. His damage potential has a much smaller range compared to the other builds. Though it being lower than the others, a true barbarian will not back down when the odds are stacked against him. So his will, determination, and persistence are going to be some of his greatest assets to be able to get through his run today. Here's a quick glimpse of all his gear, though again, I won't be going over the finer details but at least wanted you guys to see how he's currently stacked up for his run for this video. And this is how the mercenary is geared up as well. And lastly, here are all of his additional stats to see how all the numbers stack up, especially for things such as crushing blow and open wounds. Will he ignite and blaze through to Uber Tristram to be able to get his torch, or will he burn out in the heat of the moment to close out the series? Any quick little bits of information will be shown on screen as needed to not distract from the run. And I'll go over more details of the run once it is completed. Let's go ahead and get started.
Wow, what a way to end the series. This was not expected at all. This build suffered the same issue as the previous run, and that was with having both Bale and Diablo team up to attack him at the same time. Of which luckily, this build can handle without too much of an issue. But as far as the fight length, unfortunately added time that could have took him from fighting for third place to solidifying his spot in fourth place with minutes to spare. However, he still otherwise held his own very well, with the only mercenary that didn't die to Mephisto. The total runtime from entering the first portal to the downfall of the last Uber and Tristram, had none of the pre-buffing and the resupplying section been sped up, was 13 minutes and 46 seconds. With 8 minutes and 24 seconds of that time, spent fighting the Ubers to be able to get his much-earned torch. The resource management felt as though it was a fair 8 out of 10. He did have a good amount of life leech to help top off and slowly build his health back up. On top of that, he also had the redemption aura to be able to get some health and mana back when killing any of the minions that were surrounding the Ubers. However, he still needed to use quite a bit of full rejuice for himself to stay in the fights with Diablo and Bale. But in fairness, he didn't have to use all of them to keep himself and the mercenary alive for Mephisto. Since the mercenary was off apparently trying to be a bouncer to the club that was the town square of Tristram, before some of the minions pulled a Karen and wanted to speak to the manager, Mephisto, finally bringing the mercenary back towards me. The mercenary did die once. However, with his death only coming from Lilith, he survived to see Mephisto's demise, making this the only run to be able to do so despite that the mercenary was elsewhere until the last few seconds. Gotta get your wins where you can. Now, for the results of the Battle of the Barbs, the winner of this clearly was... Just kidding. <laughs> to break down the results, from the shortest runtime overall, from entering the first portal to the fall of the final Uber and Tristram, if I had kept the footage playing normally with no sped up parts, fourth place goes to the Shaman Poison Barbarian with 18 minutes and 32 seconds. Oh, bro. Followed by the Barbaric Fire Barbarian, coming in at 13 minutes and 46 seconds. Then, in second place, was the Shazam Lightning Barbarian at 10 minutes and 16 seconds. And in first place, with the fastest time of 8 minutes and 39 seconds, the Winter Soldier Cold Barbarian. Now, if just taking into account the fight times for all four Barbarian runs, this is where things get a little interesting. Just the fight times, from the first strike either towards the Uber or the Barbarian, up until their death. In 4th place is the Barbaric Fire Barbarian with 8 minutes and 24 seconds. One of the biggest upsets of these runs. Blow it out your ass. Then, following behind him, surprisingly comes the Shaman Poison Barbarian, who clocked in at 6 minutes and 37 seconds. Not too bad for a build that utilizes damage dealt over time. Then, in 2nd place, which is no shocker, the Shazam Lightning Barbarian with 5 minutes and 8 seconds. And taking the top spot for the second time of these results, in first place, is the Winter Soldier Cold Barbarian, with a chilling 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Damn, I'm good. Hail to the king, baby. Congratulations to all of them for their efforts in helping make this series a lot of fun and entertaining. All the torch rolls were as follows. A 1514 Assassin for the Barbaric Fire Barbarian, a 1612 Druid from the Shazam Lightning Barbarian, a 2014 Assassin from the Winter Soldier Cold Barbarian, and a 1314 Paladin for the Shaman Poison Barbarian. Unfortunately, all the torches rolled less than mid for resistances. However, stats-wise, the Winter Soldier Cold Barbarian had the best roll, regardless of class. But in the end, which of them did it have the most fun playing? If I was to redo taking these builds through the Uber simply off of enjoyment, it's a tie for the Winter Soldier Cold Barbarian and the Shazam Lightning Barbarian. Both had their strengths and were fun for their own reasons. And with one being a whirlwind setup and the other being a frenzy setup, I personally favor frenzy more as it's not so mana hungry. However, the whirlwind gameplay was fun and something new for me when doing the Ubers. So I had extra enjoyment from trying something new. With all that said, this is going to wrap up this video and thus being the conclusion of this series. Thank you all for making it this far into the video. I greatly appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed the video and the series as a whole. These type of videos are really fun to make, and if you have any ideas for a series to be able to make in the future, leave your thoughts and suggestions down in the comment section below. I look forward to hearing your guys' thoughts in both any ideas for future video projects, but also what you thought of this video and the series overall. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you like this kind of content and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell to be notified whenever new videos come out. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. There you are. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave it a like. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video. Stay safe and take care.